One question that is of recent topical interest is, who is liable when AI systems make a mistake? Let's step back for a moment and first ask the question, are AI driven systems likely to make a mistake? AI systems have improved rapidly over the last few years, but no one would put forward the premise that they are currently perfect and flawless. As such, then mistakes aren't just possible, they are inevitable. Even if they improve significantly, there will still be the possibility of errors occurring leading to someone being hurt, injured or even killed as a result. As humans, we try to make our world as safe as it can be. But tragedies still occur, either from human error or through conditions that weren't catered for. So if we accept that mistakes are inevitable, where does liability lie when it comes to systems or services designed or run by AI systems? In this world, we do not have a single legal system or framework that covers the entire globe. There are many countries, each with their own legal systems and jurisdictions. I'm no legal expert, but there are some observations we can safely make here. Should some adverse event occur, how it is legally handled will depend on the applicable law and where it occurred. Many legal systems are built on precedent and the definition of a legal entity. AI systems are not currently considered to be legal entities. Granting AI human-like legal personality is unlikely certainly in the short to medium term. So we are unlikely to see an AI system in court defending itself, even if it could pass the bar exam. But certainly an AI system can be defined as a product and generally those creating or using products can be held responsible should something go wrong. Here we need to differentiate between civil and criminal law. Should some event occur, and the prosecuting entity consider that a law has been broken, then the case would appear in the courts as a criminal case. However, there would also be the possibility of a civil case being brought to seek damages for what has occurred. So who would be the likely targets of this legal action, either criminal or civil? AI developers Let's first look at the developers of the AI system. Accountability in AI applies to the people and groups involved in creating AI systems. Their duties encompass making sure that the AI is developed and trained in a responsible manner, free from built-in biases and includes safety protocols to avert misuse or mistakes. If it can be proved that developers fell short, of what was required in their role, they could be found liable. AI users Those who operate AI systems bear the primary responsibility. They must comprehend how the AI tools function and their possible limitations, ensure that they are used properly and exercise careful supervision. AI users managers It is the responsibility of managers to make sure that their teams receive proper training on the responsible use of AI systems. They are also responsible for overseeing AI usage within their teams, ensuring that it complies with the company's AI policies and guidelines. AI users, companies or employers. Companies that incorporate AI into their operations need to set some clear rules for its application. They hold responsibility for the outcomes of AI implementation within their organisation, necessitating strong risk management strategies and contingency plans for possible AI-related events. AI vendors Those selling AI products or services need to guarantee that they are offering trustworthy, secure and ethical AI solutions. They may be held responsible if their product has defects or if they do not inform the client about the possible risks and limitations of their system. Data providers Since AI systems depend on data for their training and functioning, 
Those who provide the data are responsible for its quality and precision. They also need to guarantee that the data is sourced ethically and complies with privacy laws. Regulatory bodies. These organisations bear the ultimate responsibility for creating and implementing rules that regulate the use of AI. Their role includes safeguarding the interests of the public and businesses, ensuring that AI is used ethically, and outlining the legal framework that establishes accountability when issues arise. The legal systems in the UK and USA rely heavily on legal precedent. But not all legal systems are built upon it. Many countries, particularly in continental Europe, utilise civil law systems, which primarily rely on comprehensive legal codes and statutes rather than judicial precedent. The way the court case is managed will largely depend on the location where the case is filed. So what kinds of legal case could be brought against an AI system? Amongst the many things AI systems are now being used for, automation is well represented. Say for example, someone is using such an automated system to handle incoming emails, intended to auto-answer some emails and prioritise others for human review. But what if in auto-answering an incoming email requesting information, it inadvertently replies with an attachment that has confidential information contained within it? Who would be responsible for this error? The owner of the email account, who would be the AI user, could be looked at to see if they have misconfigured the system to give it access to confidential documents and cause the error. If so, would the user's manager be accountable for a lack of training in the use of that system? Or would it fall to the company to bear the burden of responsibility for allowing its staff to use such a system? Alternatively, would the company attempt to deflect responsibility to the AI vendor or AI developers for not including some safety feature to prevent the escape of confidential information? These kinds of legal minefields are likely to become more observed as the march of AI into the workplace continues. As the development of self-driving cars progresses, it has been reported that there are now 54 million vehicles with some autonomous features currently on the road worldwide. While the number of fully autonomous vehicles is still small and operating in limited areas, the scope for accidents is already there. The question of liability in accidents involving self-driving cars is still evolving and can be complex. There is a global standard for classifying self-driving vehicles arranged as five levels above the normal human-controlled vehicle. These have been defined by SAE International, which is a global professional association and standards organisation, based in Warrendale, Pennsylvania, in the USA. Level zero is the standard for vehicles entirely dependent upon human supervision. Level one consists of basic automation like adaptive cruise control, but the driver is always assisting and is fundamentally in control. Level 2 classifies vehicles managing both steering and acceleration. The driver is still required to supervise constantly and intervene at any moment. Level 3 vehicles are capable of almost all driving tasks under certain requirements but require human intervention when those requirements are not satisfied. In this scenario, the car will prompt the driver to take back control. However, this creates a really critical grey area for liability. Is there enough warning for the driver to take over and make decisions? Level 4 vehicles can execute all driving tasks in specific conditions without any human intervention. Level 5. This is the ultimate automated vehicle, which requires no human intervention whatsoever. These vehicles may eventually no longer possess human usable controls. 
for these types of vehicles, liability would seem to fall into four main categories. Manufacturer's liability. Manufacturers could be held responsible if the driver has relinquished complete control of the vehicle to automated systems. Third party company liability. Liability may also apply to third party firms that create software or supply data crucial for the autonomous vehicle if the software error or obsolete mapping information results in an accident. Service providers. Liability may rest with network providers, as autonomous vehicles generally depend on network connectivity for real-time information and updates. If a car accident happens due to a failure in the network supplied by a telecommunications company, those companies could be held responsible. Additionally, liability may fall on component manufacturers, since self-driving cars use parts and components from various third-party suppliers, such as tyre manufacturers and sensor producers. If a faulty component led to the failure in the autonomous driving system and resulted in a collision, the component manufacturer could be named as a defendant in an injury lawsuit. Driver's liability. The driver may be held accountable when vehicles need human intervention during emergencies or other circumstances. If the vehicle needs particular servicing or maintenance to function properly, and there is negligence in this area, the driver of an autonomous vehicle could be deemed responsible for an accident. It is important to mention that once a driver disengages the autopilot feature, they are likely to assume full responsibility for any subsequent accidents. When looking at any statistics on vehicle accidents where a self-driving or semi-autonomous vehicle has been involved, it's important to look at what else was involved. Was another human-driven vehicle at fault? Were there issues with the road surface or inclement weather? We could perhaps reduce risk by setting a maximum speed on all vehicles, both human-driven and autonomous, to 4 miles an hour. But we all know that will never happen. In the early days of vehicles, specifically in the UK, with the Locomotive Act of the year 1865, a person was required to walk in front of a self-propelled vehicle, like an early car, waving a red flag to warn other road users. This Red Flag Act was repealed in 1896, which set a maximum speed for such vehicles to 12 miles per hour. In today's world, it's unlikely that legislation can afford to progress at such a sedate pace, and there is likely to be a great deal of activity in the legal and political worlds to build the framework that will be needed to cope with the changes that AI will bring. Certainly, I don't see lawyers being short of work in the years ahead. Also, as we progress into the future, the importance of AI in business operations is expected to increase significantly. This expansion should be accompanied by a solid grasp of and dedication to AI accountability. Businesses need to evaluate and establish their accountability frameworks to guarantee the ethical and effective application of AI, promoting not only innovation and efficiency, but also trust, responsibility and dependability. Additionally, legal frameworks and laws will need some serious reviews to handle what is coming, to allow us to cope with the tsunami of AI systems and changes to our world. On that note, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to click on the link in the description below to discover more videos.